Hello you guys. It is Oh, it's Monday. So <laughs> welcome to a new vlog. Oh my goodness. I had no idea. I I thought we were still continuing from yesterday. Welcome to a new vlog. My battery is currently flashing. I was at the office today and came back a little early but i'm about to prep for my meeting in 20 minutes but i'll speak to you guys later let me charge my camera battery and yeah warehouse today when I went to go get my meds and I know that they now have their own branded oat milk and I decided to pick it up while I still pick up this oatly because this one is really really nice for coffees it tastes great and it forms up really well I just don't have the energy to do the foaming situation right now um, but this one also says it's barista quality but the one from butternut i liked it in my coffee as well it also tasted good in my coffee it did form up a little bit not too much but i'm not too i'm not too um hectic on the foaming so i'll try this one as well later on to see um the difference but we do use the oatmeal on our cereals and other things um also um, I didn't know that they have a wellness magazine so this one is from January to March and shape they gave me this one for free um, and I like the stuff it has here so it's, it covers food health beauty home family and wisdom which is the things that I align with and looking forward to reading this so this actually retails for 36 rand but they were so kind to me um, and they gave me this for free so yeah definitely gonna be purchasing this going forward and if i like this that's what we're gonna go for in this household um this is also cheaper than the butternut one and obviously you can only get this from wellness warehouse so this retails for 35 rand while the butter nut um, oatmeal retails for 40 rands so yeah anywhere where you can save coin we live in Southern and the rand has fallen. <laughs> Hello you guys. It is um, Tuesday. <sighs> I'm in front of my laptop. I'm working. But I'm actually not feeling that great. Sorry, I'm just seeing there's a I'm using natural light, so I just went pale for a little bit. Um but I'm not feeling that great and I went to the doctor this morning um to get checked out because I've got like my lymph node has swollen and the doctor tells me Hore this it's because of um an infection so um, I don't have other symptoms yet except for a very painful headache um, so I got some meds um, but I just need to do some work also and I need to just I need to do some work but I need to take a break I need to quickly do what I need to do uh, but I just wanted to say hi um, let me show you what's happening up there do you see that empty shelf i want to rearrange my bookshelf because 
as you can see guys it's it's a bit of a mess back there i've got books all over the place and i i just i don't have space honestly <laughs> i'm trying to move so you can see i don't have space so i need to rearrange um i really love the rainbow shelf situation but i feel like it's not working with the amount of books i have and the limited space i have so i've given myself a tedious task to rearrange my bookshelf in terms of um, author's surname in alphabetical order so it's a lot of work but i feel like i will feel so good after doing it um because also i'll have all my author books in one place because i feel like i'm starting to struggle to see which books i have because i've got so many right now and it's all a mess uh but that's that's what's happening um i just wanted to say hi i've been having my coffee i'm almost done with it um but yeah let me get some work going and then i'll talk to you guys later i've got some meetings today oh, what time is it yo the day has gone i've got some meetings today and there's a reason why i can't really um take much of a break right now but yeah I'm gonna have to take one soon uh, well in an hour it's my lunch hour I'm gonna take a break and just relax and read for a bit and eat actually I haven't eaten it's 11 and I haven't eaten I need to eat something so I can take my meds so yeah that's that's what's happening I don't know why my voice has disappeared all of a sudden it's I'm sounding a little bit husky right now um, I can't tell you why but hi see you later okay so I've cleared my whole shelf <laughs> all the books are now here on the floor <laughs> all around and i've just took them down and put them here in piles so what i need to do now is organize all these piles in terms of author because i want to essentially repack because i essentially want to repack my whole shelf according to author and in alphabet alphabetical order wish me luck so i finally organized all my books according to the author's surname those are all the s's <laughs> it's a lot those two piles are all the m's which also is a lot so now i'm gonna take all of this and put it over there um good morning i'm just packing lunch for my daughter and i thought i should show you guys what i packed for her so they do pack a lot of food because she is in aftercare so she needs food to eat literally the whole day so i've got some um, broccoli some carrot sticks and then I roasted some potatoes for her and I've got some chicken strips. Huh? Now, uh, you didn't put on your socks. Go put on your socks. And then in this compartment, I've got some pretzel sticks. I've got some tiny marshmallows in here that are sticking. And then I've got some pineapple fruit gums. 
this is the brand that they come from this is the brand that makes them it's the or packs them i don't know who makes them sometimes the people who pack are not the people who make um but this is from oh my goodness and it says no jump promise it's 99 percent fruit no artificial focus no artificial colorants or flavors preservative free high in fiber a very high in vitamin c and it's pineapple fruit gums made with fruity something <laughs> but that's her lunch i'm gonna um, grab her water as well i filled up her water bottle and just put it in the fridge overnight so that it's cold and then um i'm gonna pack it away in her lunch bag got her water mm -hmm. i fill this up and put it in the fridge overnight i do my best to pack her healthy lunch some days are better than others some days she just grab, gets a hot dog and she's good to go then some days i'll try to add some veggies good morning hello thursday with my scruffy hair i took down the conroes yesterday and i need to wash my hair today um edges not looking that good but we'll get it back i am worried um but yeah my hair is not very dirty well i haven't washed it in like three weeks but for me that's dirty because normally i wash my hair every week or two weeks um so yeah three weeks is a very long time for me and i don't typically wash my hair when i have like braids or cornrows or anything on my hair which is why i guess they only last three weeks and then i just i want them off <laughs> my head so yeah i'm gonna be washing my hair today i am actually on sick leave but <laughs> my laptop is open in front of me um i just have some critical things that i need to get done and then hopefully i can rest as much as possible because <sighs> this weekend is another busy one and i'm just drained i am so drained um so i want to try and take as much rest as possible but yeah these are this is the new layout and i have like a little sylvia moreno garcina shrine happening <laughs> here but yeah i've rearranged my bookshelf but there's still books in front of me on the floor that have no place to go and i have to double stack i did a bit of double stacking where is it oh that's not the bottom <laughs> there I did um, double stacking there, double stacking there because I don't have enough space. Hello you guys, it's Saturday evening. This is why the lighting looks like this. Um, but I've got some packages from Take A Lot um, that I just want to unbox with you. It's not what it you think it is there's two more boxes next to me it's not books you guys i haven't i actually haven't been buying books in i never bought books this whole month um so it feels weird but this is not book this is actually a tech haul um because i decided to get a few things to assist with my filming uh, because i want to like i'm getting back to the groove of things um and i needed some extra equipment or like things like to replacements of stuff i'm talking too much because i'm struggling to open up this box so i bought myself um a few things to help with my filming process or my recording process um, and I just want to show you 
the things that I got. One of the things is a home thing. Maybe that is um, <laughs> bookish. But I bought this uh, book holder specifically for my cookbooks so that I can open them up to maybe a meal that inspires me for that week. And yeah, it looks should look like that, I guess. Um, there's no reason that <laughs> it should look different. Uh, but here it is I guess we just open it up to a triangle and then you can put your book in there so pretty steady pretty solid I don't like silver wear <laughs> um, I might be tempted to spray paint it like black because I really love black <laughs> it's my favorite color it's my favorite color um, and then in this one here it's a very big box for what's in here but it's good and i know that it, it will be protected um it's literally a memory card i the memory card i currently have in my camera is 64 gigs which is not a lot and now when i'm trying to record at a different quality like it just fills up my space so much so and then I get frustrated because now I'm busy like in between filming and now my space is full I have to stop I have to go and find space in the laptop and offload and it's just a lot so um I was like I bought this one it's nothing fancy like this was actually really cheap the specific brand um I think it was, I got it for like 180 but other brands are selling maybe i don't know what the differences are but it's the same in terms of size capacity is the same it, it is also 100 um, megabits per second that's how fast it can transfer information um so i don't i don't understand how this one can be 180 rands but then the one that i previously had on my card it was 400 right and i was willing to pay that 400 until i was ready to check out and it showed me 600 and i'm just like nope <laughs> and then i continue searching and then i found this one for 180 so i don't think this should be a problem with it i don't think it shouldn't work so i'll try to record something now and see if it stores the stuff so yeah, i've got a memory card and then i've got a box um i also know what's in here because i i ordered all these things okay so what is the best way i got this um professional recording stand microphone um another thing that i've been struggling with with my filming has been my sound i currently have this like this fluffy one of those microphones but every time I'm editing a video, I can hear this buzzing sound. And I don't know if it's because of this, but I've been wanting um, a microphone for a while, especially for my sit down videos, because I'm trying to get a more crisp um, sound effect. Um, so let me just show you what comes into this box. I will link all these items in the description down below. And then I've got this thingamabob, which I guess would hold the microphone. Uh, I just want to take it out of the plastic. Be careful. Hi. Hi. Um, it comes with this thing to, to hold it in place. And then we've got this, what do they call this, mini vice to clamp, or can, clamp, I guess, to clamp show this. Them this. Not yet to clamp on I guess the table or wherever you would want to yeah. um, keep this together and now wants to unbox for you guys as well hi look and then we obviously got the microphone it's, it has this gold microphone detailing which I actually didn't like I actually wanted how the all black it, one but it it's not going to be a problem because Mama, I've got this fluff my bob um okay there's the cabling look, look guys looks like this looks like a flower on a pot and then we've got the arm of the 
and then we've got the Armothly microphone. So there's a little, that's why I said there were five things. Um, there's this little box and it's got a phone holder, but um, the one that I have works fine, but it doesn't, I feel like the way it clips, it's too, Baba. The way it clips, it's too strong on the phone and it feels like um, it's squishing the phone too much and I just don't like it. So I saw this one um, from Take A Lot. This was 95 Rand. This was 95 Rand, but I like that you can, there's knobs that you can turn to adjust. Um, and there's another one here to adjust the width, I guess, so that you can squeeze your phone in you'll be able to adjust the one at the back to turn this more horizontally but you can screw it into your cam your tripod stand this way or that way i don't i don't know maybe to distribute weight in some cases i have no idea why they would um have two ways to connect but yeah i like that this has a screwing uh function and you can screw and unscrew to fit whatever size phone you have um, and not have to like keep stretching the other one is so frustrating to use so yeah maybe i'll use this tomorrow if i'm gonna do some reels tiktoks whatever the last thing i got is so huge i got a ring light finally finally so I've had a ring light, right? You guys, I will I will come and show you. I will come and show you the uh, the embarrassment of that um, ring light that I wasn't even using anymore. I would only record during. Oh my goodness! Did my sister just break? Wow! 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 That's so weird. Um, I will show you guys what my old uh, ring light looks like. It has cello tape on it. It has seen the best of days. Um, so whenever I record the sit down video, I always try to do it like in the morning where it's still bright out because I couldn't, I couldn't record it in the evenings. So that became a problem for me and um, so I wanted to replace it but I didn't want to get another small ring light. I wanted something bigger because I noticed that with the small ring light if it's close to you at a certain angle then you've got these rings in your eyes and I don't like to see that. Um, but I just wanted something that could just essentially give me more light as well because the one I had I think it was a I think it's a 12 inch which is pretty small so this will help as well so this will help as well during spring days because um it needs to be bright i need to go get scissors because wow it is really big all these were from take a lot this was a thousand two hundred and this is the 22 inch um ring light it is 22 inch right it better be 22 because that's what i bought that's what i asked for that's what i paid for okay so in here we've got the tripod for the ring light and i like that it's really really tall i don't like that the legs or the, the mechanism works the same as my broken one it doesn't make me feel I don't feel good about that um i don't know but okay this is as tall as it can get this is probably 1.5 meters maybe 1.2 if it's smaller um and then we'll see Ugh, I, don't, I hate these legs though i don't like these legs oh my goodness <laughs> this is massive Goodness gracious, look at this. This is actually quite massive. This is massive. This is gonna be a lot of light. Oh, I 
guess then I didn't need, huh, I didn't need to buy that other thing. <laughs> I forgot. Mama, um, I couldn't find it. It's okay, Baba. I forgot that um, this ring light is one of those that you can attach your phone to. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's so big. <laughs> it's really big. Um, okay, so there's three of them. So I guess you can use three phones at the same time. I don't know who's got three phones. Or maybe if you're recording with other people to record at the same time. That would make more sense. So, um, so I've got three of those. We've got the power cable, obviously. Um, it actually, this one actually comes with the remote. And then they've got some screws. Um, how am I supposed to do this? Okay, so I just undid the ring light. It is massive. It's like, it's literally this big. Um, and I'm gonna switch it on, but it's so bright. Look at that. My goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the way it's just really properly focusing on me. Wow, this, <laughs> um, you should be able to dim it a little bit, which, able to do now this looks so much better and more you can see that there's lighting but it's more natural than the uh, other one so I just want to see how dark this is as dark as it gets and sorry but this is how bright it gets um, so this is one color whoa that that was red oh my gosh okay so that's a bit of a greenish color that's white it felt bluish I need to play around with this a little bit um, to actually see what I think this is a different colors uh, you can get unless it's just getting brighter and brighter so I don't know what okay so if I do RGB it's actually red right now um, it just gets brighter and brighter and then oh that is the green <laughs> okay when i place rgb this is what it's doing so it's going from red to green oh this purple <laughs> it's not suitable for filming but i like the the kind of this blue this ambiance that it gives it it's actually a blue my eyes did not see well um, that's the green that's purple kind of like a turquoise it even has like colorful light well it's rotating around but I don't know how and when you would want to use this honestly don't know but okay so it's flashing different I don't know also why we unless maybe you're doing a TikTok and you want to make it feel like you're at a disco at a club whatever where pe wherever people go now um i guess you could actually do maybe really cool effects and things like that um with the different lights but i honestly just needed it Ooh, i needed it just so that i can be able to <laughs> record uh, whenever I want to record because right now I was um, very limited to recording during daylight and then you will see the lighting keep changing the whole time actually let me switch off this one does it look better I don't know but I kind of like want a brightness especially also when doing reading sprints um, it can get pretty dark and yeah this is I like it I don't know if there's a CT plus CT minus I don't know what this what all these buttons do I need to just press until I find one oh I think it's making it cooler and warmer um, and I need to just find a setting that works <laughs> for me I think this works I'm not sure um, but yeah that is that is the whole that is the hole. <laughs> My floor is now strewn with boxes and plastics and now I have to tidy it up and eat because I'm hungry. Um, but yeah, 
that is the whole um i was busy editing a video that i want to continue editing that i want to go live tomorrow so it is a vlog um and then i was thinking maybe i could test this out and see if i can record a video or something <laughs> um so we'll see we'll see um if i'm gonna do that or if i get too tired maybe i'll just do that in the morning but i love it and it's huge and i don't have rings in my eyes do i i might i don't know uh it's really really it's really huge uh i like it just one more time let me show you the difference between light and no light okay i switched off also the the light upstairs but do you see that and do you see how greeny it also looks but with light after it focuses it's much clearer and i feel like it's very also focused on my face and it's kind of darkened everything else so i feel like it's actually ex made me it focused more on me i guess that's the right word um but yeah there's another button here that says section it's not it is this what i had oh no no i don't remember i think this might be what i had uh but yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna go take a shower and then test out all this equipment and see see how it how it's how it works okay speak to you later good morning it's sunday morning um slept quite late last night well early this morning i think slept around 2 a.m um because one i was recording and testing out if this massive ring light <laughs> will work i mean it should work but it went pretty great and now i have the option to record my videos in the evenings because then it's quieter um because i was restricted to recording on like in the mornings when it's bright like right now but if i don't wake up early enough then the whole household is awake and it's noisy and I didn't have none of that last night but once I started getting into it I I was very productive so I managed to record my May anticipated releases as well as a book haul um, I wanted to record my TBR video for the month but my battery ran out um, which would be literally the next thing I purchase because I was on such a roll last night I've I had my face on and now it feels like ugh, I must start all over again and I didn't really want to put a face on today maybe I might just record without makeup um, because I don't want to have to put it on and then take it off again so much work <laughs> um, but yeah good morning last night I read a little bit from guilt I passed out for sure. I'm on page 190 of Guild. Um, I don't know if I talked at all about this book this week, but this is a King Midas retelling, which I don't know the original story, so there's no comparison for me. But we are hearing the story from Oren's perspective. Oren was um, rescued by Midas before he was a king. Um, out of you know the slums out of the streets where she essentially was trafficked as a child so saved her when she was 15 I think and brought her to the sixth kingdom where he negotiated to essentially marry the princess so that um, he can help them financially because he's got a very unique and special power and that is to turn everything he touches to gold and six kingdom happened to be a broke kid a broke kingdom with the only heir being um a woman who did not or does not possess any powers and in this world the only way you become king or queen or ruler essentially is that you need to have 
certain magical abilities or magical abilities at all um, and the queen doesn't so there was a pact that he will marry her um, and then enrich the land essentially um, but then he brought Oren with him and through his touch gilded her and has kept her inside this bird cage so at first glance like you want to hate King Midas because it's like you are essentially imprisoning this woman and you don't know why in the beginning um, but as the story unfolds and you realize okay there's a little bit of a pass between these two um, he had rescued her from a very bad place where she was being trafficked and had run away and was being caught up again so um, so they've got the kind of like savior relationship so even when she is living essentially day in and day out inside this cage she's not allowed to leave the cage is human size is huge and it leads her to very specific rooms of the castle and high bell i think it's called high bell um so yeah that's why it's called the plated prisoner series but the prisoner happens to be gold touch so her skin is gold her hair is gold like actual gold and she's become somewhat of a fascination to other kings and other people and they call her names and things like that call her the king saddle um but yeah i feel like nobody really knows their true extent of their relation so that's kind of like the basis of it but from i'm not even halfway but you can tell that there's gonna be or there is already some political intrigue political struggle um like as the book goes on i feel like the author is trying to make me think of king midas in a different way but i'm just like i also don't know because he's very calculated and i don't know what his end goal is in this here story but I'm at a point where um, Oren had to, to leave the castle for the first time in like five years or something and she realizes that the certain parts of the sixth kingdom that's poor like properly properly poor and she's just sitting wondering wait why why do we even have poor people in here the king can literally turn anything into gold literally literally so how do we have people and children who are starving living in the shanties like why and i'm asking i'm asking the same question as oren right um but yeah i can't really say where they're going because it will be spoiler to the plot i guess but yeah we are traveling we're traveling and oren is a bit naive but at the same time she's a little stubborn <laughs> um she's very stubborn and even on her on this journey and you know the she's traveling with other people who are like guarding her and she's not even listening to them she's doing whatever <laughs> she wants to do and it's at some point costing people so she needs to like chill <laughs> and listen because this is not gonna work out that's the little update I have yesterday I started listening to Talia Hibbert's new YA romance unfairly what is it called unfairly cute and something highly suspicious and unfairly cute um, by Talia Hibbert um, I only just started I don't have a lot to say about this book right now except that uh, i believe it's an enemies to lovers but also before it was enemies it seems like they were best friends so i don't know what's going on um it is a ya romance so i'm listening to it on audio via script so i don't have the physical book so yeah that's gonna be my audio that i listen to probably throughout next week it is sunday today so I'll be ending the vlog today so that I can start a new vlog tomorrow.
Why?